Hello, I'm Laura McConnell and I'm a ruminant nutritionist with Fane Valley Feeds. Today I'm out with David Hunter who farms just outside Newton Stewart in County Tyrone. He runs a spring calving herd with a focus on maximising milk from grass. The cows have just started their second grazing rotation and have recently been transitioned to full-time grazing. They are then being fed Fane Valley's top graze 14% nut through the parlour. So David, weather conditions have been slightly challenging over the last few weeks. How are you finding current grass growth rates? Growth rates currently sitting at around 34 kilos of dry matter a day. And this would be slightly lower than you'd expect for this time of year? Yeah, it is a bit behind where we'd expect it. It's been quite a cold spring, so the grass has been slow to come. So this paddock that we're in currently is where the cows are going to be coming into next. David, what cover is on this paddock at the minute? There's 2,700 kilos currently in this paddock that they're going to. Would this be typical of the type of covers that you'd be normally trying to get cows to graze? Uh, no, I'd usually be aiming for 2,900 or 3,000. Um, so it's a wee bit behind, but with the weather is forecast to pick up now, this next week, hopefully the, they'll be getting under the correct covers. So when you're at full time grazing, how many kilos of grass dry matter would you be trying to get into the cows per head per day? Um, currently I'd be expecting them to eat around 14 kilos of grass, but when growth rates pick up and there's more grass about, I would be cutting the meal back a bit and expecting them to eat 16 or 17 kilos of grass. So based on those intakes, what would you be expecting to take from that in terms of milk? Um, currently I would be taking about 18 litres from grass and as the season goes on and the intakes of grass increase I would be expecting 20 litres from grass. So the cows are being fed to yield through the parlour with the top graze 14% dairy nut. David you have been using that nut for a few summers now, what benefits have you found from feeding that lower protein high energy nut? Yeah the cows have been performing really well on it at grass. Um, just the grass being h higher in protein, they don't need that extra protein in the nut. We've been testing grass here and it's always come back over 20% protein. So um, they just don't need that extra protein on the diet. Um, their fertility has been really good um, on it and you know their milk ureas haven't been too high. Well David, thank you very much. And if you'd like any more information on the Fane Valley Summer Dairy Range, please either contact myself or your local Fane Valley Feed Representative. Thank you.